What's up guys? So today we at campus here with Justin Gilbert, 81 overall run stuff style. Big thanks to Optic Killer XP and Vanga Kiwi56 for helping me helping me get the review done. So here we go. Six foot tall, 95 speed, 93 XL, 85 zone, 77 catch, 70 play rec, 87 man, 92 agility, and 76 press. Not the best coverage stats in the world, but that six foot frame and 97 speed can definitely definitely come in handy when you're trying to stop those speedy receivers. He does have a 71 spec catch, so he will not make the most amazing interceptions you know you would think at least on paper but believe me he definitely came down with some crazy interceptions but enough talk man let me show you what this guy can do so gilbert has great speed has great height definitely very solid at breaking up passes man that's where you know i think he did his best job whether it was a deep ball or a curl route or any kind of route basically any route that has him you know fighting for the ball i feel that that's where he did his best job now, where he did his worst, however, was his man-to-man. -man. That was just terrible. He was getting beat all over the place. Did not matter if it was a slant, curl, or whatever. These are some of the um, the man routes where he actually did come through, which, believe me, was not very often. And this right here, on paper, he doesn't have the best catching stats, but blew me away, man, how many interceptions that he came down with. I'm not trying to oversell it, but I actually did have to you know, pull back some of the interception um, clips because, because there were like 10 of them. So I'm, I'm only going to shoot like a good five or six of them, but believe me, definitely impressed me with um, how many interceptions that he came down with. But like I was saying, his worst thing, man, was without a doubt his man-to-man. Um, -man. So if you run a heavy zone defense, I feel that that's where he's going to work best. You know, like just let him play one side of the field. Let him just lock up one side of the field. He'll do much better there. But if you do run man-to-man -man and you do want to pick up Gilbert, the only way I think he'll be successful is if you put him at safety. You know, because that way, you know, he can just lock up that side of the field and just be, you know, do better work there. However, like I said, if you're rising up in the ranks, I guess you could put him at man to man. Maybe, you know, if you're still going up against like base receivers and whatnot. But this right here, look at this. This is why you don't want to bring him against top competition. That kind of stuff is going to happen right here on a consistent basis. So, like I said, definitely a rising up in the ranks type of player. These you can definitely expect. But anyways, this right here is what I was talking about before. What he did best was... The deep ball and breaking up passes so that's why i say if you put him at safety this is what he's going to be seeing most right here most likely is going to be the deep passes and like i said that's why i feel that he's going to fit your scheme if you run man to man if you run zone he, perfect even better but anyways i'm going to end this review man on a good note oh and also if you put if you want to put him at a slot absolutely i feel he can definitely play the slot because of how well he is at breaking up the pass look at him pull off the one-handed interception Anyways guys, that's going to be the end of this review. My final thoughts, do I think he's worth 12000 That sounds like a solid price. Now, is he a top 5 budget corner? I would not think so. Top 10, maybe top 10 if you run a heavy zone defense. But if you run like a man-to-man, -man, I don't think so. Obviously, just because of how you know bad he got beat with the man-to-man uh, -man routes. Now, like I said, putting him at safety might be the best way to use him, in my opinion, if you're running a man-to-man. -man. But if you're running zone, man, I think he might fit your scheme. But once again, though, as long as you're still rising up in the ranks. But anyways, guys, that's, that's going to be the end of that, man. Tomorrow, I should have, should have that Tim Tebow review coming out. If not, the next review should be Saturday. But anyways, man, until then, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I will see y'all boys then, man. Peace.